What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, yes, look at this, look at this, that's right. We got ourselves our second badge. You know, thanks to the nice Pokemon team. And yes, we have returned Toxistorm back to the PC. You know, thank you for all its services. Now it is time to go to Slateport City, you know, just to deal with some more things right here. We don't really have anything else to do right here. Yeah. I think we're, we're, we're kind of done right now. So, well, let's go back to Mr. Brian right here. He's like, ahoy for you. I'll go out to sea anytime. Now, my friend, where are you bound? Now we actually have a choice between Sleepport and Pedalburg. I don't really need to go to Pedalburg anymore, so let's just go straight to Sleepport. He's like, Sleepport, is it? Anchors away, Pico. We're setting sail, my darling. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so here we are, and look at that. Look at Route 107 to 108 and all that stuff, and you'll see exactly what we're going to be visiting later on in our whole uh, adventure right here. And, uh, well, this guy's like, Ahoy, we made it to Slayport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods. That is true. But before we go and do that, we got a few battles right here. I mean, a few good battles, because there are some Pokemon trainers right here that want to battle us. So, what we're going to do is, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to go with Shroom Lee right here. Shroom Lee needs to grow with just a few more levels, and then, you know, a few more other stuff on standby. And he's like, our sandcastle is taking a long time to make. And this girl's like, you can have this. We get ourselves the soft sand, which, of course, increases the ground type capabilities or powers or, you know, moves. And talk to this guy, he's like, I've laid an anchor in ports around the world, but slave port's the best. All right. Okay. Bring it on. So here we have Sailor Huey wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Wingle. Okay, so somewhat of an disadvantage or something like that. I don't even know. Yes, I am at a disadvantage. So we're gonna nope, not go through the bag right here. We're gonna go straight to the Pokemon, and we're gonna go with the next Pokemon involved. Um, let's go with Swamp Lord right here. Swamp Lord will destroy everyone, including you. So don't mess with my Swamp Lord. And here we have Water Gun Attack. And I'm going to go straight with, uh, well, let me show you my Water Gun Attack. Look at that. Not that effective, but it takes just a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, probably should stop screwing around. And let's go with that Tackle Attack right here. Boom. Tackle Attack. Finishes off Wingle. That's right. Wingle de defeated, and everybody's almost getting points. Machop's coming out. So I'm going to go straight to Gaia right here. Mm-hmm. Gaia did such a good job going into the Pokemon, uh, uh, or the, the, the gym battle right here. And, uh, well, I'm going to continue doing this because why not? It's a fighting type Pokemon. That kind of stuff. Now, many of you guys are wondering, why did I put, why did I put, uh, what was it, Toxic Storm back into the PC? Well, really, I don't need him anymore. We're going to go up against an electric type gym leader. That's going to be a bad thing. We only needed him for that that kind of gym battle but you know what we might bring him back sooner or later like I said I have a wish list of Pokemon stay calm guys I know what I'm doing I think I don't know so I'm gonna switch it up to shadow right here shadow it's been a while since I've seen you battle so here we go battle with me that's right I'm gonna battle with you dude. so here we go who do we have to take on and this guy his name is Edmund and he's coming out with his wingle alright bring it on let's do this Shadow. Let's go with uh, Bite Attack. And there's that Water Gun Attack that we don't like. And uh, here we go. Bite Attack again. Bite Attack and wow! Supersonic really, really hurting us right now. And uh, come on. Come on, Shadow. You can do this. That's right. Good for you, Shadow. Good boy. Alright. As you can see, he gains a few experience points. That's good. And he sounds like he's throwing up or something. I don't even know. Alright, so there's more trainers right around here. Let's see, trainer tips. Pokemon at the same level may not always be have identical stats. Pokemon raised by trainers are said to grow stronger than wild Pokemon. That is true, and I see Pokemon trainers right there. I almost crossed that line. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to stick with Claymore and Shadow right here. And I'm going to use some of my potions right here that I have not used. And, well, oh, let's go ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here. And uh, doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? Yes, it does. Ta-da! See? My inner tube is round! Okay. Alrighty. So, 
Okay, so whatever. They're, they're, they're having fun and whatnot. And here we have Chandler and Lola. They're coming out with some puny Pokemon right here. Well, Tentacle's not really puny and all that stuff. And as you can see, I am uh, kind of scared right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to Gaia because that, that, that Tentacle is, is, not, is looking at me all weird. You know, it's looking at me all funny and whatnot. And yeah, I don't want him to just use that Water Gun attack. But I'm mistaken myself. Shadow is the target. Come on, come on, Shadow. You can do it. There we go. Lynch. Okay, so we're gonna go again with the bite attack, and I'm gonna confuse the crud out of you, Tentacool. And uh, you know that would be super effective if uh, you know if Gaia was a, far, a fairy type Pokemon, but it doesn't exist right here. And uh, come on, come on, Shadow. Si se puede, like my Mexican brothers would say. Si se puede. And there you go, critical hit, good experience points, I think. And uh, let's see, coming out with another Azum Azuro, I think, I don't know. So here we go, confusion, we're gonna hit him, we're gonna hit this Azuro above at the same time. There we go, well, that's one. And uh, snapped out of confusion, good job, Shadowlow. Here we go, defeated, look at that. And we're just going to destroy this tentacle right now. And, uh, well, that supersonic is hitting me again. Maybe I should have a confusion uh, meter right here. I don't know. Confusion meter. Because I'm getting more confusion than anything. I think I got, like, confused ten times or something. I don't even know. And here, you got, or here here's one more Pokemon. So, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot that he didn't hit. And uh, it's going to hit hurt itself. Okay, so I'm just... I'm, I'm relying on Gaia right now, and uh, here we go, confusion, work, damn it, confused, oh god, oh god, oh god, stay, stay, there we go, fight attack, oh god, almost, I almost beat him right there, and, uh, wow, this tentacle is a survivor right here, that's, I think that's why they call it tentacle, this is a survivor, I don't even know, but there you go, finished, defeated. Everybody is getting experience points, and Chandler and Monica have been defeated. They're crying to the mamas. That's right. Beat you guys. Oh, and uh, of course, they give me, uh, I guess, their phone numbers to their Pokedabs. I don't know. And here we have an extra potion right here, which is cool. Good stuff. And uh, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. He's like, the water around these parts are is clean. But I get my Zigzagoon to pick up litter from the shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes, uh, becomes rain and joins our rivers, which uh, we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. That is kind of true. That is kind of true. I'm not really uh, the environmentalist type, but you know, good beliefs, good, good stuff. And uh, oh god, we got oh potential double battle right here. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna switch it up right here, Shroomly, as my backup, and uh, I'm gonna use another potion right here with Shadow, because you know I haven't seen a lot of Shadow as of lately. And there we go person I can't swim so I'm pretending to swim and uh, wow wrong double battle or it probably couldn't see me I don't even know but here here's super Haley and she's coming out with her Meryl and uh, well shadow you know what to do I'm gonna destroy everybody right destroy that's right and uh, you flinched Meryl so we're gonna do it again two for flinching two for flinching again there we go so we're gonna go again fight attack and it's flinging, oh my god. Come on, finish them off with another flinch. That's right, defeated you. Made you look like a bum. And say hello to level 15 Shadow right there. And Haley, you've been defeated. He's like, I thought so. I didn't think I could win. Or we could win, I should say. I don't know. And uh, okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, switch up our Pokemon right here. Shroomly, it's been a while, brother. Let's do this. Could have been a double battle right here. I'm thirsty. I could go for a soda pop at the seashore house. That is true. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. So here we have Tuber Ricky coming out with his uh, Ricky Raccoon. And I got my little Shroomly right here, ready to kick some butt right here. And I'm gonna go with Mega Drain. And wow, this is a first right here. A surf technique. Wow, so this kid could probably surf with his Raccoon, or his Zigzagoon, I should say. And, uh,. Trained a nice amount of HP, so I'm gonna go with a bullet seed, and that is not gonna help me right now. 
go. Bullet seed. One. Come on. Finish him off. Oh, come on. Should have finished him off in like four or five hits or something. I don't even know. And uh, here we go. Bullet seed. Again. Look at that. Look at that. Who's the champ? Who is the champ? That is me. That's me, the champ. And would you look at that? Defeated little rookie. He's not liking it. Of course, these little kids don't really have a lot of uh, they don't really have a lot of money. So, you know, we, we're taking their lunch money. Yeah, we're essentially taking their lunch money, and I'm getting a phone call here, and it's Roxanne. Oh, oh, hello, Draven. This is Roxanne of the Rustboro City uh, Gym. I heard from Brawley that you're uh, moving up through the ranks of uh, trainers at an incredible clip. Incredible clip or incredible rate? I don't, I, I don't know. Well, I'd rather not think that uh, I can't beat you. I promise I'll shape up my gym so that we may challenge us or you may challenge us again. I hope you'll be looking for, or you'll be looking forward to the, that occasion as much as I, as me. Okay. Okay, so I think I got her phone number. I don't even know, but okay, I got her phone number, and uh, I already beat this guy. I'm not gonna rest right there and. There's no trainers right here, so let's talk to this girl. He's like, yo, trainers, whether you're hot to trot or cool to, or cool cat not, chill at my papa's spot. Wow, okay. Not really good with rhymes. I'm not even a rapper right here. And uh, here we are in a spot right here where we can actually battle some trainers. So, um, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. He's like, I'm the owner of the Seashore House, but you can call me Mr. C. What I love about, uh, or what I love above all is to see hot Pokemon battles. Let me see your heart. Let me see your heart burns hot. If you can defeat all the trainers here, I'll reward your efforts. Okay, all right. All right. Maximum effort. Let's get it. Okay, so who needs some battling? Let's go with Swamp Lord. All right, she's looking at me. Okay, she's finally looking at me. Okay, so boring battles aren't worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughen up put trainers and battle on Pokemon, I should say. Wow, can't read. Sorry, guys. Really, really sorry. Though. Here we go. We got Beauty Joanna, and she's ready to battle right here. Coming out with her Goldeen. Mm -hmm. I'm coming out with Swamp Lord right here. Swamp Lord, let's go with that mud shot. Look at that. Deal the muddiness. That's right. Been defeated so easily, and look at that. Level 20, finally, and learning Foresight, which I. Yeah, I'm really not going to use it. And uh, why did I press no again? Here we go. And no. Okay, so that was a good battle right there. She's like, that's hot. So are you. That's right. I said it. I said it. I said it. Okay. I'm going to give a, I'm gonna give a battle to Shadow right here. I'm going to go with the this guy, the sailor guy right here. And he's going to come up. He's like, if you're looking for a battle in the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. Okay. All right. Let's go. Bring it on. So here we are. Taking on Sailor. <clears throat> Sailor Dwayne flexing his muscles right here. And he's coming out with his wingle. Alright, let's see. What can we do? We can bite. And of course, we get confused yet again. Wow. What are the odds? You know, what are the odds of getting confused so many times? I just want to say. Oh, God. Okay, we got we got we gotta hit this guy, and it's hitting us with growl. So right now I'm I'm really, really angry about this, and uh, come on, come on, hit him. That's right, bite attack. Look at that, Crit that, look, that looked like a critical hit to me, and this guy's withdrawing his wingle. He knows shit's about to go down, and oh crud. Going up against a Machop here. Who's gonna win? Dog or a fighting type Pokemon? As you can see, I took a nice chunk out of its HP, but I'm not going to survive very much, so I'm gonna go switch it up with Guy right here. Bring it. Bring it. Just bring it. And, uh, really? Clear? That's all you're gonna do? I'm just saying. Okay. Let's go with a confusion attack. Confusion attack does it. Say goodbye to Machop. That's right. Machop's been defeated. Everybody's getting points, and we're coming back with that wiggle. So I'm just gonna finish him off with a guy right here. Alright, Dwayne. I know you're not Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and how are you faster than my Gaia? I want to know that. Hmm. There we go. Confusion attack destroys that Wingle, and 
Look at that. Level 18. Good stuff, good stuff. Still doesn't learn a new move, but it's still good stuff, right? Wrong. Let's go back to Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog? I don't know. I call him Shadow just because it's a dark type Pokemon. And uh, here we go with that Tentacle. And Tentacle about to get bitten. And uh, wow. Everybody's faster than my Shadow. Here we go. Going again. And uh, wow. Seriously, Supersonic. You're going to confuse me. Nothing can confuse me. That's right. Beat you. I just beat you. Alrighty, Shadow's doing well. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How do you feel about that? Okay, so we got one more trainer right here. And uh, you know what? Potion is, Potion doesn't sound so bad for right now. For Gaia. And I should give that one to Shadow right there. And, uh, okay, so let's see. Where are we? Okay, so we got one more Pokemon trainer. He's right here, this little guy right here. And he's like, I'm going to show you how great my Pokemon are, don't, but don't cry. Promise, I won't cry, but you better promise uh, to tell your mama what I did to you right here, you know. That's right, I'm gonna whoop your ass right now. So here we go, Azuril, taking on my shadow right here, and uh, let's go with that bite attack. Bite attack does it, critical hit, eat it, eat it good, and uh, oh, we're close. Alright, so we're going up against the big bad Meryl right here. The only thing close, or the only thing bad is the, the Azumarill, and so we're going to go with another bite. Doesn't do much. Here's that water. Shadow should like the water. That's right. Eat it. Ooh. Shadow's getting stronger. I can feel it. Feel it in my bones. In my body. That's right. And there you go. Meryl defeated. Shadow elated. That's right. Yeah, you're not gonna cry. Don't cry, kid. All right, so I think that's that's it right there. So after you defeat after you defeat all three trainers right here, you can talk to this guy. He's like, "You're scorching hot. Those blazed or those battles blazed. I'm more than just satisfied." As a thanks for showing me how uh, your hot streak, I want you to take these a half a dozen of soda pop. Of course, soda pop work as uh, healing items for your Pokemon. So that's pretty much it. But you can always come back here to buy some more soda pop, right? Yeah, you can. Okay, so we're done with Route 109, and, uh, well, here we are in Slateport City, finally. And, uh, let's talk to this guy. He's like, a light of the lighthouse reach, or the light of the lighthouse reaches dozens of miles away. I wonder if it doesn't startle Pokemon in, in the sea. And, as you can see, there's that lighthouse. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. This one right here. Slateport Market, unique mount, uh, items found nowhere else. So you can, you can actually find some cool items right here. It's like... Whenever I visit here, I care. I get carried away and buy too much. Hmm. That is true. And if you talk to this person, welcome. How many I serve you? And he's just gonna, you know, sell me dolls for right now. And I don't need a doll because, uh, yeah, don't need a doll right now. And uh, this chick right, yeah, she's this chick right here can actually see the love that your Pokemon have. And uh, well, if you actually have it at maximum love, I think she'll be able to give you a. Uh, a ribbon. So let's see if, what happens with my Marsh Tomp. And yes, I have to go a little harder with this Pokemon as well. And this guy is the Energy Guru, and he will actually sell you any kind of, uh, you know, vitamins. And as you can see, I can't afford a single thing. Can't. Not one. Not one can I afford. Holy Jesus. And uh, let's see. Talk to this guy. Oh, look at this. The seaweed you can uh, get around these bars is fresh and full of life. Why it looks like it can even re-up re an attack. Okay, that was kind of weird. Talk to her. Shopping here is where you can breathe the, of the ocean. Slateport is such a wonderful place. That is true. That is so true. Why aren't you moving out of the way? Okay, thank you. And let's see. Do you know the, do you know the TM secret power? Our group, we love the TM secret power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show me if you can get it. We'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in secrecy. Okay, who who has it? Which one of you guys has secret power? If a wild Pokemon gets hurt, it heals itself by chewing berries. Did you know that? I kind of did. Somebody saw that and got the idea of making medicine for berries. Or from berries. Did you know that? Yes, I did. To turn berries into medicine, they must be crushed into powder. Did you know that? You seem, to have, you seem to have an interest in berries. I got something good for someone like you. And we got ourselves a powder jar, which... I guess you can, uh... Put, uh I, 
don't even know. You can make powders and stuff. And I'm not even reading this. I, it's too much. Too, too much. So here we are in Slateport City. Would you look at that? We got Team Aqua right here just, you know, all over this place. Holy crud. It's like, what is it with the long line? Okay. And this guy's like, Stern! The fellow who built the museum also happens to be the leader of an undersea exploration team. So everyone calls him Captain Stern. And uh, this chick's like, hey there, quit pushing. This is the line, can't you see? Huh. Okay, so something big is going on there. I'm going to come back a little bit later for you. And now, if you go right here, this is the Pokemon Fan Club. Of course, you'll be able to find some fans. And uh, let's see, the president here usually gives us something. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. Being the, fan, the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one can best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one! Well, let me tell you about Pokemon contests. There are events where, on, where one can show off Pokemon for, their, for the world to see. However, they're held in, in far off towns, so I cannot participate often enough. That is why we gather here to show off our Pokemon, and we have others show us theirs. Okay, so you're not gonna give me anything, you know, like a bike voucher or something? I don't even know. Nah, you're not screwing you, man. And let's see. Having items, protein, all that stuff. To talk to this lady. Something about Pokemon being sensitive to her Pokemon, yada, yada, yada. Okay, and oh, your Pokemon really adores you. For you, a Pokemon compassionate trainer is a gift from the Fountain Club, and she gives us a Soothe Bell, which, of course, you know. Uh, makes a Pokemon more fl friendlier, you know, those Pokemon that evolve through emotions. And this guy is like, if you keep letting a Pokemon faint in battle, it'll come re to resent it. Soon it will be less trusting of the trainer. In other words, it certainly won't like you very much, which is kind of true. And uh, this lady's like, wow, it's plain to see that you lavish your love or you lavish your love on your ma marsh top. Okay, it's named Swamp Lord. Can I ask you a favor? I'm a TV reporter and I'm running a survey on Pokemon. Would you be willing to answer a few simple questions for me? Why yes. Great, thank you. Okay, here it goes. I just need a quick answers, okay? Your Marshtromp is cared for or is cared for lovingly. If you were liking it or if you were to liken it to something that you like, what would it be? Burritos. That's something that I love, guys. Or tacos. Shoot, I could have named Marshtromp Taco. But there's no taco here, so let's go. Let's go see uh, what kind of uh, names do we have here. Uh, okay, so these are the names of the Pokemon that I've already seen. I could put, let's see, let's go with actions. Allow, angers. Mm, let's see, disappear, drinks. I do love myself my drinks, but I'm not gonna put that because there are kids out there. I don't know. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Phrase, plays, refuse, run. Ref Jeez, okay, so let's see, let's see, uh, how about lifestyle, allowance, chores, huh, okay, that's, n oh, wait, hold on, my Pokemon is definitely this, a machine, that's right, I'm going with machine, and she's like, okay, makes sense, the next question, might be a little one on the tough side, here it goes, what do Pokemon mean to you, okay, they mean, let's see, let's see, okay, adjectives, and, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see, nothing, shredded, milky, spiraling, thin, thick, thirsty, ticklish, twerking, twi uh, twinkling, or twirling, sheesh, twerking, who, who puts twerking in this, and, uh, let's see, absolutely, any, around, even so, you know what, not even gonna go there, let's go with, let's go with trainer, let's see, bag, center, emerald, Encyclopedia. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with I choose you. That's right. I choose you. I see. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for helping me out. It was fun and enlightening chatting with you. It's possible that our interview will end up on TV. Tune in and check. Okay. That's it. Bye bye. Okay. So, uh, I guess that was it. And this guy's like, uh, <laughs> my Pokemon totally rules. It's cooler than any Pokemon. I was limping off the, with a swagger in uh, my step like a. Uh, like that uh, when the chairman chewed me out that took the swagger out of my step if you'd like I teach you move swagger to your Pokemon okay let's see maybe I should teach it to somebody here somebody who really needs it you know what shadow can learn it 
think Shadow will eventually learn it, so I'm gonna just teach it. Uh, I'm just gonna teach it uh, Swagger just to be a dick to everybody. So there it is. One, two, three. Forget and learn Swagger. So we got that. And uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it right here for the fan club. Is there anything else that you can find in here? Let's see. Um, oh, the Name Raiders place, which you can actually change nicknames or anything like that. And let's see. Talk to this person. Or oh, I'm going to compete in the book in the battle tent. Before that, I need to catch some Pokemon. Now, there's a few changes in Emerald to Ruby and Sapphire. In Ruby and Sapphire, you'll find a tent gear for any kind of a Pokemon contest. Here, you have the battle tent where you can actually, you know train your Pokemon, get yourself, or get your Pokemon prepared for what eventually becomes the Battle Frontier. I'm not going to do that. Um, people are still convincing me to do the Battle Frontier, and I may, may or not be, uh, may or may not be, uh, budging just a little bit. Just wait and see, guys. Just wait and see. Now, here we have the Slayport Harbor. The Fairy SS title is under construction in the shipyard. Service is scheduled to begin shortly, which is cool. Now, let's see. I think there is something here that we need to do. Something big. Let's see, talk to this guy. Where are the waters clean? The fruits and bountiful harvest gather. And where people gather, a market soon starts. That is how the town is born and grows. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Now, you go here in the Stern Shipyard. And now let's see if we can actually find Captain Stern or anything like that. Now, as you can see, there's nobody here except for these guys. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, hmm, this goes here and that goes over there. Then where does this thing go? And what about this doohickey? Ugh, can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm. Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there? The, are they the Devon, Devon Goods? But hmm, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said that he, uh, he had some work to do. Could I get you to find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Sure, why not? I mean... I guess that's what our adventure is for. So after you go over there and talk to this gentleman, now you can go back up here and where's the line? Where is the line? Where are they? So, the museum. Oh, okay, so you can go into the Oceanic Museum right here. And, uh, of course, you do have to pay a $50 fee to come in here. And here we have a bunch of uh, Team Aqua members now. These guys are just looking around. I don't know what their what exactly their their deal is. You talk to her, she's like, "We we Team Rocket exists for the good of all." Yeah. So everybody says like Team Rocket, you know, Team Plasma, everybody, you know, those guys. Yeah. Whatever. So we're gonna go up here and uh, we're gonna find Captain Stern just looking at some kind of a model of a of a boat, and he's like, "Yes." If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at the Vaughn. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare the expedition right now. And, uh, well, here we have two guys from Team Aqua. He's like, hey, <laughs> hold it. We'll take those parts. Captain Stern, wh wh what? Who, who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your gap and fork them over. And just like that, we're into another battle right here against the Team Rock or Team Aqua Grunt. Many of you guys are wondering, where is, where, where's Team Magma? We want to see Team Magma. Well, wait till later on, guys. Just wait. So here we have Swamp Lord against Carvana. Now, one of the things that you need to worry about when you're facing a Carvana is its rough skin. It will hurt you if you try to hit it physically. That's why if you use a special attack, it won't hurt as much. It won't. It really won't, guys. Trust me. I just did it. Look at that. And he's like, oh, man, that... Like what a disaster! The boss is going to be furious. Hmm, it's lovely wimp. Let me take the let me take care of this. All right, bring it on. Let's go. Let's do this. This guy here, he thinks he's so cool. He's coming out with his Zubat. Little does he know that my Swamp Lord can destroy him in one blink of an eye with a water gun attack. That's right. Water gun attack just destroys a critical hit. Look at that. You see that? You see that? I wasn't kidding. There we go. And he's going to come out with his Carvana, so let's go straight to Shroom Lee. That's right, Shroom Lee. Shroom Lee, finish him. Shroom Lee, destroy him. So here we go, Carvana. And uh, it is a water type Pokemon, so I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm going to go with that uh, Mega Drain just to, to add insult to injury for this guy right here. There we go. There we go. Finish him off. 
And, uh, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Mega Drain again. And that defeats the Carvana right there. Look at that. That's easy. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. And, well, Troom Link kicking butt. And uh, would you look at that? Level 17. Team Aqua Grunny is like, what? I lost? Two? Yep. You lost, buddy. And this guy's like, now what? I, if we don't get the parts, we're in for it. Ugh, I didn't count on being bit meddled by this uh, by, by, by some meddling kid. And out of nowhere, some guy with some Mufu Macho uh, mustache comes in. And he's like, I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts. And you simps are held up by some mere child. We are Team Aqua, and we love to see. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. Ah. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, you can't be right. That, or that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Da, 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 da. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What are we doing is so, or what we're doing is so magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine, you're still too young to understand. Our noble, or understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will be, will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. I'm pointing at you. I'm pointing at you. I'm flipping you off, bud. So here we go. Captain Stern's like, oh, he's like, you're, you're, oh, you're okay, Draven. Um, anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh, yes. I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon. So there it is, guys. We just stopped becoming uh, Aaron Boys for Devon Corporation. He's like, whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out uh, on our ocean floor expedition very soon. Thanks again. And But now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check, our, our, check out our facilities, though. And we get healed up just like that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this place. Uh, as you can see, they... It's just a bunch of boats, guys. Don't worry about it. And would you look at that? He's like, Hey! What are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member you dumped before, remember? Back in Ruster of Tono. Here, take this. You can... You have to forgive me. And we just got the TM-46, which I think is Thief, right? Suits you more than it does me. I hope I never see you again. Wow. Huh. How does it suit me more than... Yeah, I was right. So we got the thief technique. Okay, so everything's good. Everything's great. We just completed everything right here, but would you look at that? Huh, it's Scott. Huh, I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name is Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here like they were uh, stung. Let me guess, you drove them away. Hmm, maybe. Maybe just maybe, this printer. All right, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokénabs. And there we go. We got ourselves another phone number, I guess. I don't know. He's like, what I like to do is tag along with you, but I don't want to keep an eye out on talents on other. Or I do want to keep an eye out, an eye on talents of other people too. So I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Draven. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Half hour long. You know, that kind of stuff. The good stuff. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, yes, we will be going north to... Well, we're going to be headed to Marvel City. Whatever. All that stuff. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in another episode for Pokemon Emerald. See you guys.